Hi, this is Mariah. Welcome to your Daily Mana, day 120. Today we're going to read Numbers chapter 3. Yesterday with chapter 2, we read about the arrangement of the camp and how um, God had an orderly plan of how the Israelites were to march out so they would be prepared for battle and just be organized. And today we're going to read about the sons of Aaron, duties of the Levites, and redemption of the firstborn. These are the generations of Aaron and Moses at the time when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests, whom he ordained to serve as priests. But Nadab and Abihu died before the Lord when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. And they had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests in the lifetime of Aaron, their father. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. They shall keep God over him and over the whole congregation before the tent of meeting, as they minister at the tabernacle. They shall guard all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and keep God over the people of Israel, as they minister at the tabernacle. And you shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are wholly given to him from among the people of Israel. And you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall guard their priesthood. But if any outsider comes near, he shall be put to death. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have taken the Levites from among the people of Israel, instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the people of Israel. The Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated for my own all the firstborn in Israel, both a man and a beast. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. And these are the names of the sons of Gershon by their clans, Libni and Shimei, and the sons of Koath by their clans, Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uzziel, and the sons of Merari by their clans, Malhi, and Mushai. These are the clans of the Levites by their fathers' houses. To Gershon belong the clan of the Libnites and the clan of the Shimeites. These are the clans of the Gershonites. Their listing according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward was 7,500. The clans of the Gershonites were to camp behind their tabernacle on the west, with Elisaph, the son of Lael, as chief of the father's house of the Gershonites. And the guard duty of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting involved the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the screen for the entrance of the tent of meeting, the hangings of the court, the screen door of the court that is around the tabernacle, and the altar and its cords, all the service connected with these. To Koath belong the clan of the Amorites, and the clan of the Izharites, and the clan of the Hebronites and the clan of the Uzzielites. These are the clans of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males, from a month old and upward, there were 8,600 keeping guard over the sanctuary. The clans of, of the sons of Kohath were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle with Elisaphan, the son of Uzziel, as chief of the father's house of the clans of the Kohathites. And their guard duty involved the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which the priests minister, and the screen, all the service connected with these. And Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, was to be chief over the chiefs of the Levites, and to have oversight of those who kept guard. Three, to Merari belonged the clan of the Malites and the clans of the Mushites. These are the clans of Merari. They're listing according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward with 6,200. And the chief of the fathers of the house of the clans of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihail. They were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. And the appointed guard duty of the sons of Merari involved the frames of the tabernacle, the bars, the pillars, the bases, and all their accessories, all the service connected with these, also the pillars around the court, with their bases and pegs and cords. Those who were to camp before the tabernacle on the east, before the tent of meeting, towards the sunrise, were Moses and Aaron and his sons, guarding the sanctuary itself. 
to protect the people of Israel, and any outsider who came near was to be put to death. All those listed among the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron listed at the commandment of the Lord, by clans, all the males from a month old and upward, were 22,000. Redemption of the Firstborn And the Lord said to Moses, List all the firstborn males of the people of Israel, from a month old and upward, taking the number of their names. And you shall take the Levites for me. I am the Lord, instead of all the firstborn among the people of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the cattle of the people of Israel. So there's a substitution there. So Moses listed all the firstborn among the people of Israel, as the Lord commanded him. And all the firstborn males, according to the number of names, from a month old and upward, as the listed were, 22,273. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the people of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle. The Levites shall be mine, I am the Lord. So the, so the people of Israel were set apart from the other nations, and the Levites were set apart from the other clans of Israel. And as the redemption price for the 273 of the firstborn of the people of Israel, over and above the number of the male Levites, you shall take five shekels per head. You shall take them according to the shekel of the sanctuary, the shekel of twenty geras, and give the money to Aaron and his sons as redemption price for those who are over. So Moses took the redemption money from those who were over and above, those redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the people of Israel, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, by the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons, according to the word of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. That was our reading of Numbers chapter 3. So, wow, the Levites kind of in a way are like a witness to the other clans. I mean, Israel was selected by God to be a witness to the world, to draw people to him and away from their pagan gods and goddesses, which were not actually gods, to worship the one true God. And here we have the Levites being set apart from the rest of the clans, um, not having an inheritance of land all to themselves, but living among the different clans and houses. And the Lord himself be in their inheritance and their portion. So they were set aside from the people who were set aside. It's like a double um, selection there. You know, it's kind of like um, the Levites, instead of trusting in, you know, looking forward to maintaining inheritance that was physical, they were to be satisfied with the Lord and relying completely on him and the provisions. You know, the people bringing their animal sacrifices for their meat and their bread. And so um, because of that special calling, there is opportunity for them to be spiritually more connected to the Lord. So um, that was their special calling. In fact, God has a calling for everyone. But to find our calling, we must stop striving for the temporary things of this world and seek the Lord God with all our heart and soul. All right, everyone, that concludes today's reading. Next time we'll read Numbers chapter 4, the census of the Levites and their assigned duties. Until then, I just want to say thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Stay humble and true to the faith. Until next time, bye for now.